Is there any medication that helps for bronchiolitis? What about epi and dexamethasone? Well, the CAN-BEST trial found that there was no improvement with epinephrine and dexamethasone. However, in PLOS1, there was a secondary reanalysis of the CAN-BEST trial, and they did a Bayesian reanalysis in which they found that there's up to a 98% chance that epinephrine and dexamethasone reduce hospitalization compared to placebo. And even under highly skeptical assumptions, there was greater than a 90% chance of a 10% reduction in hospitalization by using epinephrine and dexamethasone. Now this is seriously controversial and lots of people have big feelings about this. You will definitely want to check out Nick Zelt's amazing rant on the podcast about this. In my opinion, there's not a huge downside to administering an epinephrine nebulization treatment to a bronchiolytic patient. The dexamethasone doses used in CANBEST were quite high, and so I don't think I would go into using that high doses that frequently. So is this gonna change my practice? Might I try an epineb? Yeah. So you can learn more about this on journal feed. Just look down below if you're on Instagram, just drop the word email anywhere into the comments and we will automatically send you a direct link so that you can sign up for our email list.